Good day, Aries viewers. I am Sarah B, and this is Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your amazing energy. Thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for clicking on like, hitting that subscription button, and also that notification bell that will let you know when I am going live or posting new videos. Today, I just shuffled for uh, the Aries Collective for the Greatest Good for this reading for April 2023. This is a general reading, not personal, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. So what just came out for our Aries Collective is rescue and movement. All right, guys. It looks like you are trying to keep an open mind and see things from a different perspective. It looks like you are thinking of making some changes in your life and um, really need to see things, get the whole story before you go um, making you know, final decisions on this uh, journey that you're thinking about. Um, I do see that you've been manifesting to your higher power about clarity, getting more clarity, maybe receiving a sign. Um, I just heard that research that you might be manifesting more clarity or seeing signs, but spirits asking you to research as well. You have to put in a little bit of work to understand more about the decision you're trying to make. Um, I'm hearing that there's, you're used to going with the flow. You're kind of used to just taking things and dealing with them, but things are going to need, I should say need to get a little, not mixed up, but like shuffled or something along those lines. Because the mundane is not working for you anymore. This monotony is not working for your greatest good any longer. And there needs to be some changes. There needs to be a better flow. Um, and a more natural energy. I'm sorry, I'm being asked to look. There is a waterfall. If you look very closely, there's a waterfall in that picture. And there's an obvious waterfall in this picture. So again, movement and flow. Um, you know, what does a waterfall do? do it? it mixes things up at the bottom. Um, so things are about to fall in line, but they also are churning. They're mixing things. Um, there's going to be growth and abundance coming your way. You know, also a similarity in these two cards, all, cards are seeing things from a different perspective, trusting your higher power, seeking clarity, doing, so, like I said, doing research. Um, that spirit asked me to focus in on and draw to your attention. So the movement, the, the energy... Um, you're going to have to put more into it. Trust. I just heard nature. There's a get out, maybe get out in nature. I just heard nature. But trust in, in this energy coming into your this new energy 
that's about to be expanded in your life due to this, this change that's coming. It's going to be good for you. It's going to really raise your vibrational energy and quite possibly change your, your path. Okay. Thank you, Spear. Shuffling. No? Too many? Shuffling for the Aries Collective. Excuse me for just one moment. Card overboard. Okay, so so far we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Knight of Swords for you. So that, I mean, that is a, an opportunity. The Knight of Swords means... This um, clarity is going to come to you when you least expect it. Um, really quickly, it's like going to be like, you know, an aha moment in your life where you have been waiting for this, um, trying to work out where you're supposed to be, what are you supposed to do with this new opportunity, um, you know, or creating your own opportunity. The Nine of Swords, of Wands, rather. And the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this Nine of Wands is in reverse. I don't think I said that out loud. Okay, so, like I said, there's going to be abundance coming in for you. Um with this forward movement um you are not giving up it's um something that you have decided that you are in it to win it you have no matter how many times you're defeated you're not accepting failure as an option you know, this could be a relationship. This could be starting a new business. This can be, you know, trying to decide what kind of uh, path you want to move on into the future. Um, you know, like I said, you're seeking clarity. This uh, Knight of Swords is saying that it's going to arrive instantaneously out of, out of nowhere. You're going to find it in something. Um, you've been manifesting for it for a while you've been trying to work out in your head what to do next um and it's trusting in the universe trying to um to see something from a different perspective so let's go ahead and clarify this three of pentacles for our aries collective three of pentacles please three of pentacles Aries Collective, what do they need to know, Spirit, about this Three of Pentacles? Thank you. Okay, this is two cards. So we have the World in Reverse and Temperance. So, like I said earlier, the universe is working out a way to make everything happen the way it's supposed to happen for you. But you need to have patience in doing so. And then your wish is going to be fulfilled. Um, but you have to go through all of the things that you have to go through before the universe is going to allow you to make these things happen. Uh, but you are on a path or you're getting to a path where um, this is going to be possible. You're moving. You're going to be moving in the right direction. Um, once you receive this clarity, you're going to be moving in the right direction and um, you just have to trust in the universe that this, the way the universe is taking you and um, the steps in it, it's leading you in is the correct process. You might not think so. Sometimes, you know, you take uh, three steps forward and two steps back. And this might be frustrating for you as it is for most people when this happens, but you are getting there. Um, not everything happens to everybody all at one time. 
Sometimes people need to take smaller steps to get to where they need to be rather than big, huge leaps, but you're still making forward progress. And this emperor is saying is you might have to turn to um, your higher power for guidance, or there might be um, somebody that you trust, uh, somebody that you're inspired by, somebody that gives amazing advice. This person might be, uh, you know, somebody that you need to talk to about your next steps or, um, or maybe helping you to uh, devise a plan or, you know, when you're seeking clarity, how to go about that. I heard the word research. So maybe this could be a professor or a teacher of some kind or some kind of, um, of, uh, you know, person you could use to, to gain that knowledge, uh, to utilize, you know, their knowledge and, uh, to seek what you need to gain that clarity. Okay. So let's clarify the Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords for our Aries Collective. Knight of Swords. What did you mean by the Knight of Swords, Spirit? Clarifying the Knight of Swords. Ooh, four cards again. Let's see here. So we have... The Four of Wands in reverse. So some some kind of stability might have been taken away. We have the Devil card. The Moon in reverse. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I'm feeling like there was some kind of stability um, taken away. This might be a separation of some kind. Um... I'm also seeing that secrets might have been revealed, something underlying in your relationship, or uh, maybe you found something out about a structure change at work or something along those lines. But there is something that is not working for your best interest, a, a lack of passion. Um, when we have this wand in reverse this ace of wands in reverse it's a lack of passion a lack of intimacy a lack of trying so it looks like there is something i feel like secrets have been revealed this could be um somebody stepping outside of a relationship or you know an addiction of some kind or an obsession that has been interfering with the relationship. Um, but something is causing some instability. And this is a uh, part of the clarity that you've been searching for. Well, I hate to say it, but that could be putting you into this, you know, you feel like you're for lack of better words, a loser. Um, you're feeling like that and you're like, why, why is it my circumstances changing? I see everybody else around me their circumstances are changing um but you still need to trust in this higher power you are going to be on the path that needs to serve you correctly this was meant to happen you know you might have kids with this person um that you have to take the lessons and the positivity out of um whatever it is this um structural upheaval and take that Take away the lessons that you've learned from it. You know, this could be um, a business crumbling. Uh, this could be you being laid off from work. Um, this, I mean, depending on your circumstances, this could mean a number of things. But I do see that there's a distraction or um, an addiction, something that has uh, somebody being pulled away from what what used to matter most to them. It might not matter that much anymore from what I'm seeing because there's a lack of passion. Um, but what used to matter to them doesn't matter so much anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so let's clarify this nine of wands in reverse. Spirit, what do you mean about this nine of wands for our Aries? This one? For our Aries collective.
Nine of Wands for our Aries Collective. Nine of Wands. So, so far we have the Four of Swords that came out. I just saw got four more cards you guys are rocking up these cards today usually i i pull three but four has been coming out with every single clarification here so um we have this four of swords energy queen of pentacles energy four of swords in reverse so that means your your resting is over these days are over it's time to work out what you need to work out um Get off your laurels and get to work on whatever need you need to do to get back in a position of being passionate about something, working hard on something. Um, get over this distraction. So there needs to be healing of some kind. Um, and whatever has been lacking needs to be worked on. Uh, I feel like there, if you're not saving then you need to be putting away a nest egg of some kind, some kind of savings. Um, it looks like there might be some kind of spending that was, um, that you've been doing, letting go of fighting of money. Um, maybe just making purchases that you can't afford. Uh, but you're being asked to, um, to, you know, tighten those purse strings a little bit and reel in the spending. And uh, this might have you, unfortunately, it might have you um, reeling it back, maybe even for the summer. This might mean you, you're not going to as many barbecues or concerts or stuff like that, stuff that you would normally do during the nicer months. Uh, but you're definitely being asked to pull in because of financial situation. Um this could also be, I'm also hearing that you're letting go of something that wasn't serving you. This could be a job. This could be a love opportunity. You could be in a situation where you're losing money because you're leaving somebody. Or maybe, you know, it's obviously it's much cheaper to live with somebody. Uh, you're only paying half the utilities, half the rent. Um, so this might be you either being kicked out or there's a separation happening. But now you are forced to do everything by yourself, which may be putting a financial strain on you. But you might be breaking away from something like that, letting go of something that uh, you were at one point sharing something financially there is a a shared kind of uh bank account or finances were shared um but you are now maybe doing that by yourself and it's been a little bit of a hiccup for you but and you're being for whatever reason you're being pulled away from from your normal like friend group or maybe because like of a separation or some kind you're being pulled away from friends and celebrations and stuff like that but I really think it's just because you're trying to pull back and um and save a little bit let me see what let me clarify this three of cups for our Aries collective spirit what do you what do you mean by a three of cups we have some kind of nostalgia, somebody. It seems like you spend a lot of time maybe feeling like a kid again when you're with your, your friends. Um, you know, you might want to do things that you used to do when you were um, younger. And you're not able to do that anymore. This is Empress in Reverse. Yeah, you're feeling like you're not, you're not in control um, of the situation any longer. And this, again, might be this devil energy 
feeling um, like things are getting out of control. Uh, you're chained to somebody or something that has held you back. All right, let's move on and clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What do we mean by the Ten of Pentacles? We're in reverse for our Aries Collective. Ten of Pentacles in reverse for our Aries Collective. Again, with the four cards, four is, uh, you might want to look out for the number four um, in your in your daily grind or path because uh, four has come out every time. Like I said, usually I pull, pull three cards, but four cards have come out every time for clarification. We have the King of Wands in reverse. Um, we have the Six of Wands. The Page of Wands. And we have the nine of pentacles. So there's a digression here. There's, although there is a lot of wands energy here, there is um, a lack, a lack of passion. We have these wands in reverse. So there is a lack of passion, a lack of creativity. Um, there's a digression of some kind. This could be in um, a romantic a romance or a romantic setting or a, a relationship of some kind. Um, but there is definitely some kind of digression. Somebody is blaming you is what I'm hearing for this, um, this digression, looking at you specifically saying, putting the blame on you for this um, lack of passion, this lack of interest, this lack of creativity or um, whatever it is, uh, they're, they're blaming you. So, uh, or, you know, this could also be your person, if, depending on how your this reading is falling for you, that you could be a, um, a cross watcher watching. Um, in that case, you're blaming them, but yeah, there's a, a definitely a lack of interest or lack of passion here and it's being felt and, you know, amongst your, your circle, pe this person, your partner or whoever, uh, your coworkers, they're blaming you for this. Like you haven't been on your, your, your game or, you know, if it's a romance, you, you haven't been acting like yourself. So, um, it, this might like, again, again, it circles back to this devil energy. You might be chained to something. You might be paying attention to something that you are, uh, making, um, a priority rather than your relationship or your work life. All right. So let's see. Yes. I'm whipping out my glasses because I am going to end this reading with spirit of the animal oracle cards and rather just than just reading what's on we're not shuffling what's on the cards i'm going to get more in depth by reading to you what the actual meaning is in the book so you have the full perspective of the meaning of this what do we have for our Aries Collective to conclude this reading? Thank you. Okay, so we have Wolf, Pathfinder. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So let me go ahead and find this. 
so we can um, clarify even further. Give me one moment. Don't forget to like my channel while I find this page. All right, Wolf is the teacher, Sage and Pathfinder. Wolf is revered as one of the great totems in Native American culture because Wolf, by their example, instructs us about leadership, survival, and social order. They teach that power comes from cooperative efforts of the pack. Wolves know their place and know what to do. They are loyal mates. Their parenting instincts are strong and the entire pack helps raise the young. Wolf is loving, but also very firm. Wolf has extraordinary strength and endurance. If Wolf is your totem, you may be asked to take a leadership role in your community. You may feel drawn to teaching and helping raise the young. You may be asked to be a mentor and guide to others. With Wolf as your totem, you will certainly succeed in these endeavors. Wolf will ask you to not avoid your responsibilities within your pack. You are the accountable ones and should be proud that others can depend on you. The moon is an ally to the wolf, per, to the wolf person and represents wisdom and intuition from the feminine divine. Wolf people are great friends, lovers, teachers, and parents. Ask Wolf to help you find your best life. All right, Aries, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for staying till the end. And thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel. If you would like a more detailed, intimate, personal reading, please see below in the description box on how to do so. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Love and light. Bye.